power to the truth. I want to share my reflections this evening on the general conditions going on in the world I see. And you might see another world than I do. I see the United States as already living under a mature fascist authoritarian structure and it has been for a long time. It's just coming out more a lot because of the revelations by Edward Snowden. But for those of us who have been more aware over the decades, you know, we see more of a intensification and a solidification of corporate fascism. You know, a lot of it began to me, well, during the, the Roosevelt years, you know, Roosevelt was, was elected four times. The Constitution was changed after. And, you know, he was a, a corporate capitalist. And then we see the whole, uh, how the chain of command shifted over the decades. You know, now there's questions about JFK assassination, who did it and all that, by Jesse Ventura. And, God, this is like over 50 years ago, half century. So what are we not grasping now that's going on? Now the power of the internet has been a big game changer because we can now communicate on the global level, which wasn't the case in, in the 60s, 70s, 80s. So. We should see mass consciousness, you know, rise more and more. Mass consciousness be expanded more and more. If we are sharing relevant news and information online, a lot of it has to do with with us. Uh, using the power of the internet consciously. You know, I'm on social media a lot. I can afford to do so. Many cannot. They have to have a regular job and all that. <clears throat> so, I try not to waste my time when I'm online. And I also know that many of our people are not online. Many of our people are not interested in social issues, our politics, our a lot of the causes that progressive social activists advocate on and, and promote when they're online. So we need to be aware of that gap between different levels of consciousness. You know, sometimes if we're online interacting, you know, with people who 
share our general ideals and, and beliefs and opinions, it seems like, uh, wow, we're really getting hit. You know, when the fact remains that the majority of, say, Americans in the USA are like Nazi Americans. You know, they're obedient to the state. You know, they they go along with, with, with the fascist program. You know, they they buy into the the weekly agenda of the Obama regime and they are afraid of being seen as unpatriotic. Now, if they really studied, you know, much of the history of, of the early founding fathers, you know, they would see that we've strayed far, far away from many of those founding principles. Yet, remember that many of them were, of the founding fathers were slave masters. You know, so, I'm working on it. So I understand that people, it takes more than facts and figures, you know, to raise consciousness to the point where it stimulates progressive action. We need to see that. Not everybody is going to agree with us or with me and that's okay. I don't have all the answers. I got a few and we need to, to be able to communicate with each other and, and engage in constructive dialogue without being rude to each other. You have a basic respect for, for people, whether you're, you're online or whether you're offline. And do not confuse your, your subjective consciousness in your mind with the so-called objective consciousness of the masses and we need to just relate to the people's level of consciousness. That doesn't mean we we, we bow down to that consciousness. That just means that you know, we're interested in what they are interested in. Especially those things that, that are going to be positive and productive and, and progressive. Many people are lost, are hung up on entertainment. Sex, music, and drugs. Maybe that's just my personal experience because what we go what we go through varies with the individual. You know, I see many people wasting their lives. Imagine spending the bulk of your life at a job that you hate. Yeah, you need a job. Today's world and if we don't want to get stuck in a dead-end job, especially if you're young, 
you know, you need to prepare yourself so that, you know, you can be qualified for, for higher paying positions. And ideally, if you can get a job that is align is in alignment with it, your belief systems with your principles and you basically get paid to do what you love to do anyway then you are truly blessed Buddhists have concept of in life having the right livelihood you know the right way to make a living Right now, one of the main handicaps that what I would call a liberation matrix has is that we have no uh, little or no infrastructure. You know, we need to be able to survive, meet our basic survival needs, and create a culture of liberation where we're working together to educate ourselves to become more and more in harmony with each other you know working on our character defects eliminating uh, harmful addictions and being able to learn to live together in harmony to, to look at the, at the concept of a commune and having different communes being established and cultivating the commune and linking up with other communes. In the long range, I see the need for intercommunalism. You know, what, what Brother Huey Newton talked about. And developing that concept of intercommunalism. Right now, we um, we need to use all tactics that apply to our situation. And once the basic strategy is understood by the intelligent commander, the tactics applicable to his situation. After a, a factual analysis of actual conditions, those tactics are a product of his imagination alone. No one is is you. No one is in your situation. So you need to to look around you, see what you can do, and have a basic vision of what you want to see come about. So. The so-called left wing is lost. You know, the old classical Marxist-Leninist ideology is is outdated. It doesn't apply now. You, know, you need to look at the situation with with fresh eyes and and be able to examine and re-examine your concepts, your beliefs and see what gels and, and harmonizes with the situation and what does not. You know, I believe we need to use all the tactics that, that we can. It's not a matter of the tactic is right or wrong. It's more of a matter of is it humane or not. It's not a matter of left wing, right wing. It's not a matter of violent, non-violent. It's a matter of is it humane? You know, we should strive to to stay in, in in a humane way of being, having care, concern, compassion. We should learn from, from the, the lessons of, of past revolutions and how they got twisted and corrupted 
and became reactionary. Because you know, revolutionaries can become reactionaries. You know, unless there is a is a consistent, clear, humane approach to the general situation and staying humane. In other words, the means and the ends must be in harmony with each other. You know, not conflicted. Because A lot of it has to do with how you handle the situation now. You know, we don't want to create bad blood. We don't want to create resentments. You know, in, in any kind of a revolutionary struggle that can ultimately eat away at 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 the core of a movement, resentments. It can last for, for generations. You know, a lot is when you look at, say, the Cuban situation and, and the way the Cuban Revolution went down. <coughs> you know, when innocent people get killed, and we just can't dismiss that as, oh, that's just collateral damage. No, that that's damage. That is a part of the failure of a vision on the part of leadership. You know, all the millions who were killed in the Chinese Revolution. And looking now, we got a Chinese Empire. You know, when a revolution comes into power, I don't see no withering away of the state. If anything, you know, they hold on to the power tighter and tighter and tighter. And, and they repress any threats to their power, you know, and, and they suppress any voices that are not in alignment with the so-called Vanguard leadership. So this is a, an ongoing problem, you know. I believe that getting involved in the Registering to vote, being aware of what's going on, uh, learning how to practice democracy you know, is, is going to be key. Call it centralized democracy or, or what have you. We got to learn how, how to manage our affairs as human beings, you know, to engage in constructive, creative dialogue with each other instead of uh, power struggles. So there's a long way to go. What we're doing here is, is, is we're trying to create a new, a new society. You know, this so-called civilization has as much claim to civilization as a pack of rabid dogs. You know, so I'm looking at, at more of the humanization of society, where we're concerned about those who are least fortunate among us. You know, that includes, you know, the hungry homeless man in the street who's been damaged, you know, homeless families. A faster so Obama, see, he, he talks about the middle class which is really shrinking anyway. So we need to be concerned about those who are least fortunate among us and, and see the importance of being concerned with all people and, and race, color should not even be a factor, you know, all our policies should be based upon a basic humane love for people, humane compassion for people. And I don't even see a movement. You know, we got to look and think in terms of, of creating a matrix of interconnected social forces on a global level that are in communication with each other, that can learn from each other, and that can help to create 
the mass consciousness that, that we need. And it's not going to be easy. This is this is a lifelong journey. And in the process of, of creating that new world, you know, we'll we'll create ourselves anew. We'll become more and more loving, more and more humane, more and more understanding. We won't be in in a rush to judge and condemn. You know, we're not doing this just to get a new set of tyrants and and, 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 and power mad idiots in charge. It's happened over and over again. Study the history of revolutions. So those are just my reflections for now and please feel free to leave constructive creative comments below this video and uh, We all need to grow up. The future of humanity is actually at stake in what we do or do not do. We are an endangered species. So love yourself, love your family, love all of humanity. Gracias. Venceremos.